Hello Gear Facts friends, today we've got Casio's SA76, the ultra portable end of their series. Let's turn it on. It runs on 6 AA batteries. Obviously with tiny little speakers like that you don't expect magnificence in sound. But we do have the requisite 100 tones, 50 patterns and 10 songs. It's designed just to be a fun keyboard really, we've got the pads here with some sounds. Quite nice, we'll just test it on a higher volume there. The speakers hold up pretty well at maximum volume. Interesting that over here there's a quick sort of shortcut button between the piano sound and the organ sound. So organ, piano, back to organ. Why specifically those two sounds? I guess they're the most commonly used by most players. But with 97 other tones to choose from, there's quite a lot more excitement in this keyboard. Let's just press the pattern key and have a look at some of those. Very simple. I notice that there's no fill button, so you'll just get a rhythm that's continuous with no start, no finish and no chops in the middle. But that's okay, we're essentially looking at a toy keyboard here. So anyway, we're in pattern mode. Let's choose a, another one at random, maybe start with the dance beats. 07, 08, just choosing them at random now. We should be able to change the tones of our chords here. No, we might have to be in the right mode for that. Or maybe they are just preset rhythms with accompaniments that can't be altered. Let's go to tone mode now and preview some of the sounds before we get into the direct recording. So synth sounds are always interesting. And just scrolling over slightly, you can shortcut through the sounds and the tones uh, and the rhythms, I should say, just by pressing plus minus there. So that's handy as well.
back as we always do on GearFacts videos. We've just got power in and a headphone socket on this one. No USB, no MIDI or anything like that. Again, very simplistic on the back. It's all very neatly designed with a nice contoured edge there and the battery door for the 6AA batteries. As mentioned before, it's essentially a fun keyboard, a kid's keyboard. There are no sounds on this that could be used for any serious compositional or professional purpose. But one thing that does strike me about it is that it seems to be kind of like an older, larger Casio model that's been squeezed into a smaller, more nicely designed kind of a box. It's an attractive little kit, and I do find myself kind of liking it as I play with it. But again, I reiterate, just a toy and not to be taken seriously. Anyway, that's gear facts for today. That's the very fun Casio SA76 kids keyboard. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, commenting, or subscribing, and please share with other people who love gear. Thanks again, guys. See you next time.